जय हिंद स्टूडेंट्स इन द लास्ट लेक्चर ऑफ सैटेलाइट कम्युनिकेशन वी अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सैटेलाइट वट इज सैटेलाइट कम्युनिकेशन हाउ सैटेलाइट इज प्लेइंग एन इम्पोर्टेंट रोल इन लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस कम्युनिकेशन वी ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट द अपलिंक एंड डाउनलिंक फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ द सैटेलाइट एंड आई टोल्ड यू ऑल्सो वन पॉइंट that uplink frequency is always greater than the downlink frequency due to the two reasons that was power supply requirements and another was the fading and the path losses or attenuation so in this lecture we are basically concentrating on the types of satellite on the various aspects on the various basis so as you can see in this picture there are some pictures and uh, these pictures are showing various kind of satellites in which you can see that some of are artificial satellite and some are natural satellites as i told you earlier moon is the natural satellite of the earth titan is the natural satellite of the saturn ganymede is the natural satellite of the jupiter the biggest planet of our solar system whether these all are the artificial satellites which are man made and sent to the space for the communication purpose or the another purpose so as far as construction point of view is there satellite is of two types natural satellite and artificial satellite then the satellite as per their use when we are uh, talking about the use of the satellite basically whether our main concept of satellite communication is there satellite is used for the communication only but uh, as per the use in the space we can define this satellite of two types first one is active satellite and second one is passive satellites sometimes the satellite which is placed in the outer atmosphere of the earth is actually not processing anything it is just providing a link between the two earth station means it is getting the data from the earth station one and sending that data to the another earth station it means they that type of satellite doesn't required much type of much type of individual system blocks it means they are low cost loss of power is also associated is less and they are not used for communication purpose these are basically covering satellites or the beacon type satellites so these all kind of satellites are called passive satellites that satellite doesn't provide any type of processing on board but when we are talking about the communication or active satellites active satellites are those satellites which are used for linking as well as for the processing of the signal and i told you that transponder transponder is a major block or basic building block of a active satellite system so active satellite transponder is as we can say or we can say that the transponder is the heart of the active satellite actually it work like a regenerative technology basically it is consisting of various type of technique such as demodulation processing frequency translation switching and power amplification as i told you in the previous lecture that transponder is getting the data from the source earth station then that data is filtered frequency translated and then that is again amplified and sent towards the source uh, destination ground station so basically these type of active satellites are uh, work on the regenerative technology so this is the type of satellite as per the use now the satellite types according to the mass 
actually mass of the satellite is also a very major parameter which related to the satellite launch as well as the complete life cycle of the satellite so it is very much required to classify the satellites according to their mass basically as per the mass satellite is divided into three basic type that are large satellite which are having more than 1000 kg weight then the medium size satellite which are having 500 to 1000 kg 500 to between 1000 kg then the small satellite actually these small satellite are came into the picture in recent years as the congestion or traffic in the space is continuously increase due to the due to the launching of various satellite time by time in in this particular previous decades so traffic jam in the space is a very major issue right now to cope up that particular issue or to avoid the space debris issue that is also a another topic of this uh, syllabus which we discuss uh, later in the uh, next uh, lectures i also want you to tell you that these small satellites are also playing a very important role in the satellite communication basically these small satellite having the weight less than 500 kg and that are of mini satellites micro satellite and nano satellite nano satellites are those satellite which weight is around 1 to 10 kg individual and less than that pico satellites are also possible that are having weight of around 0.1 to uh, 0.99 kg so these all are the satellite type as per their weight and as far as as uh, uh, if i give you an example of uh, just a recent uh, uh, the recent uh, ek uh, uh, you can say that uh, the launching of the satellites that uh, india make a history in the field of satellite launching by placing 103 satellite in the space if i told you one very interesting point out of that 1303 satellite around 90 satellites are nano satellite or small satellites so you can easily see that that how much potential is there in nano satellite in the field of space technology as they are taking low cost for the launching procedure also if you want to replace the existing satellite it can also be very easy because for the low weight of satellite you can use the uh, same rocket for the various satellites in in a single time so this means the nano satellite is the future of the satellite communication right now one technology that is called cube sat cube sat that is in the picture and that is uh, you can say that that is the part of this nano satellite technology and cube sat is a project which is working on it in this particular a cube uh, dimension that cube is around 1 to 1 to 1 cm only it means the size of that cube sat satellite is around 1 1 1 cm means one width one length and one one dia sorry width uh, length and that uh, breadth so basically uh, when we are talking about that cube sat that is also a very emerging uh, field in this particular satellite communication then the orbits actually these orbits orbits play a very important role as the next uh, type of uh, satellite uh, discussion is uh, uh, classification of satellite uh, types uh, is directly related to this orbits so before starting that uh, about the orbits first of all we have to identify or we have to understand that what is orbit actually when you are placing a satellite 
into the space that particular satellite will revolve the mother planet in a fixed path that path is called orbit so around the earth there are various type of orbits possible and as per the types of the orbit of the earth the satellite types is, is a type is also decided so when we are talking about the earth orbit we are start, uh, we are dividing it into three type of orbit that are by inclination by shape and by altitude so first of all by the inclination as you see you can see in this diagram actually this is our earth that is the axis of the earth and that axis perpendicular there is a plane that is called as equatorial plane actually when we are dividing earth into the various part as per the geometry then you can see that the middle line which is just dividing earth into the two parts is called equator and the plane that lie just parallel to that equator is called equatorial plane and the orbit which is situated on this equatorial plane is called equatorial orbit that is equatorial orbit then another part that is the axis of the earth these are the poles of the earth and the orbit which is going through the earth axis plane and that orbit covers the pole of the earth is called polar orbit then we are talking about the inclined orbit actually when any plane which is making an angle with the axis of the earth that is called inclined orbit and some satellite are also placed in this inclined orbit now the second part that is uh, as orbit as per the shape actually two type of shape are possible first one is circular orbit and second one is the elliptical orbit basically you know that our earth is rotating around the sun in the elliptical orbit or we can say that most of the planet in the space in the solar energy uh, solar system are orbiting the uh, sun or their mother planet in the elliptical orbit only but for our requirement for our com satellite communication purposes some satellites are also placed in a circular orbit around the earth and all point of the satellite orbit at about the same altitude actually in the circular orbit whether in the elliptical orbit the points in the orbit or the distance from the particular point can be changed so there are two points first one is perigee and second one is apogee basically apogee is the point of elliptical orbit that point of the elliptical orbit which is the farthest distance which is at the farthest distance from that <coughs> particular earth that is situated on the focus of the ellipse it means apogee is the farthest distance from the focus of the ellipse whether perigee is the closest distance so these type of some satellites are also possible in the elliptical orbit that uh, i can say you that are heo h e o higher elliptical orbit satellite then the last one is as per the altitude basically when we are placing the satellite as a, at a height of 162 2000 km that are called lower earth orbit if we are placing the satellite on the altitude of 5000 to 10000 km that is medium earth orbit and if we are placing it on 35800 km that is called geostationary orbit actually at this height the orbital period orbital period means the point the time which is taking by sat the satellite to cover the complete distance of the 
ऑर्बिट और कंप्लीटिंग इट्स वन साइकिल ऑफ ए ऑर्बिट दैट इज कॉल्ड ऑर्बिटल पीरियड दैट ऑर्बिटल पीरियड ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर जियो स्टेशनरी ऑर्बिट सैटेलाइट इज जस्ट इक्वल टू द अर्थ रोटेशन स्पीड दैट्स वाई दैट पर्टिकुलर सैटेलाइट विल ऑलवेज रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंट विद रेस्पेक्ट टू द अर्थ पोजिशन सो एज पर दिस सैटेलाइट देर आर सम काइंड ऑफ सैटेलाइट अकॉर्डिंग टाइप्स ऑफ सैटेलाइट इज पॉसिबल एंड दैट आर एज पर द ऑर्बिट फर्स्ट वन इज फर्स्ट वन इज लियो सैटेलाइट लोअर अर्थ ऑर्बिट सैटेलाइट एग्जाम्पल्स आर ग्लोब ग्लोबल स्टार एंड इरिडियम सेकेंड वन टाइप इज मियो सैटेलाइट एग्जाम्पल्स आर आई सी ओ जियो सिंको जियो स्टेशनरी सैटेलाइट दैट इज इन मे आर सेट एट ए हाइट ऑफ थ्री फाइव सेवन सिक्स एट किलोमीटर अदर देन दैट हियो हियो इज स्टैंड फॉर हायर इलिप्टिकल सेटल ऑर्बिट सैटेलाइट सो बेसिकली वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द सैटेलाइट टाइप अकॉर्डिंग टू द प्लेसमेंट इन ऑर्बिट वे आर आर लियो मियो जियो एंड हियो नाउ अनदर पॉइंट बेसिकली when we are placing the satellite on the equatorial plane of the earth that is called geostationary satellite but when we are placing the satellite in the same height as equal to the geostationary orbit that is around 3500 1800 km but at a inclination with the equator or with the axis that is that inclined orbit equatorial or that inclined orbit is called geosynchronous or satellite orbit both of these orbits having the same property that the orbital period of that satellite is equal to the earth and the speed of that satellite is also equal to the earth rotation speeds that's why the particular point related to the earth or with respect to the earth is remaining same throughout the orbit it means if we are placing a satellite in geosynchronous or geostationary orbit locating towards the india it will remain always constantly located towards the india only then these are the parameter point of view comparison of these satellites and that comparison is leo lower earth satellite altitude is 160 to 2000 km speed of the satellite is 8 km per second and the orbital period the period in which a satellite rotate completely around the earth is 90 minutes it is used for the voice and data services then medium earth orbit satellite medium earth orbit satellites are placed on the height of 2000 to 35 786 km and with a speed of 3 to 8 km per second and the orbital period is around 2 to 24 hours it means as well as you are increasing the height or altitude the speed is also increasing and orbital period is also increasing then the geo stationary orbit or over the equator earth geo stationary orbit that height is typically 35786 km with a speed of 3 km per second and the orbital period of 24 hours meo satellite is used for gps whether the geo are used for the communication satellite other than that जियो स्टेशन को जियो सिंकोनस ऑर्बिट सेम पैरामीटर्स एज पर द जियो बट दे आर यूज फॉर वेदर सैटेलाइट ऑल्सो हियो हाईली इलिप्टिकल ऑर्बिट बेसिकली एज आई टोल्ड यू इन द प्रीवियस वन दैट दिस ऑर्बिट इज ऑफ दिस टाइप इलिप्टिकल शेप एंड द अर्थ इज सिचुएटेड एट द फोकस 
अर्थ इज सिचुएटेड एट द फोकस दिस पॉइंट इज कॉल्ड पेरीजी दिस पॉइंट इज कॉल्ड अपोजी एंड द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन दिस इज फोर्टी थाउजेंड किलोमीटर इट मीन्स द सेटेलाइट विच इज प्लेस्ड इन द हियो ऑर्बिट ऑलवेज कवरिंग ए मेजर एरिया ऑफ द अर्थ एंड दैट आर बेसिकली यूज फॉर रिमोट सेंसिंग पर्पज देन आई वॉन्ट टू टोल्ड यू वन पॉइंट हेयर दैट एज वेल एज सेटेलाइट इज ट्रेवलिंग इन दिस पर्टिकुलर ऑर्बिट वेन दिस सेटेलाइट इज गोइंग टूवर्ड्स द अपोजी पॉइंट its velocity or we can say that speed in this uh, particular orbit will decrease whether when this satellite came into the blind side of the earth or the blind coverage area blind coverage area is basically that area in which satellite is not designed for that particular reason it means that is the blind reason of that satellite and in the blind reason the speed of the satellite will increase it means as well as satellite is approaching the near nearest point it its speed will increase and the other in in another case it will decrease so this is the point these are the another parameter comparison of leo mio and geo which are directly going to taken into account as per the requirement that first one is satellite height i told you earlier for leo mio and geo orbital period 10 for uh, 10 to 40 minutes 2 to 8 hours and 24 hours number of satellites basically this is a very important point that if i am uh, going to ask you one question how much satellite are required in leo orbit to cover the complete earth so in that leo that is around 40 to 80 for the mio 8 to 20 satellites are used to cover the complete earth whether in the geo only three satellites can cover the complete earth as this is the earth if you are placing one satellite here one satellite here one satellite here around a angle of 120 degree each the complete earth will be covered by using three geo satellites three geo satellites so basically these are the main point that how much number of satellites are required for the system then number of hand off basically hand off is the technique in which a particular user which is in the range of one satellite and going towards the next satellite region then there is a end off of the frequency so that that particular user can consistently use that particular uh util particular service so that is called by the hand off and in the due to the large number of satellite placed in the leo uh, orbit this number of hand off is high whether in the mio it is low but in the geo it is around the none also gateway cost means the launching cost and the another related point that are very expensive in the case of leo in the mio it is less expensive whether in the geo it is very cheap also propagation loss is the least in leo higher in mio and the geo it is the highest as i told you as far as the another point is concerned of that uh, as uh, we told you i told you that with the increase in frequency and with the height that uh, propagation loss also creates very uh, faces very a uh, kind of that uh, attenuation loss losses and the another points also so these are the various type of satellite other than that some other types of satellites are also possible and that satellites are communication satellite remote sensing satellite navigation satellite geocentric uh, orbital type satellite global positioning satellite then drone satellite ground satellite polar satellite and nano satellite 
क्यूब सेट एल एज डिस्कस इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर सो इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टूवर्ड्स द सेटेलाइट सर्विसेज दैट आर कमिंग फ्रॉम द वेरियस टाइप ऑफ सेटेलाइट सो टिल देन थैंक यू